This group of people gathered here in the South African city of Cape Town to show their solidarity with the Palestinian people suffering from the Zionist war machine. The crowd, small but vocal, also supports their country's genocide case against the Zionist entity. In this instance, the Zionist state has really transgressed all the principles, all the sort of the, the clauses that basically speak out against any form of genocide. They've just done a textbook uh, text in the sense of they've just, you know, blindly and arrogantly basically been pushing their own story. Today, South Africa and the Zionist entity will go head to head for a two day public hearing at the International Court of Justice. Hopes grow around the world and in Palestine that the occupation will be held accountable for its genocide against the Palestinian people. We hope that the international law will be implemented in this court and that the International Criminal Court will respond to the right call of, first, by putting an urgent end of the continued aggression and the genocidal war perpetuated by the occupation state, and then by incriminating and condemning of occupation forces for committed genocide crimes against Palestinian people, which allows the prosecution of leaders of the occupation before international courts. This will pave the way for the only implementable political solution, which is the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. But make no mistake. The scale of devastation inside Gaza Strip is horrific. These neighborhoods were once homes for thousands of civilians who are now left homeless or dead bodies. The Zionist weapons do not discriminate. They target everything that's moving. For lawmakers, these actions provided ground for an international criminal court investigation into alleged genocide. We have evidence. If you look at the photo of Jabalia, the refugee camp, you can see the photo before and the photo after. I believe it vividly illustrates what we need to judge, especially since the court must address the most heinous crimes. We don't need to delve into each building, especially when the buildings have been destroyed. So, we have all the elements. In Palestine, the news brought some hope at a time where the Zionist entity and its allies try to bury every aspiration of people there. Their hope is whether it's for today or tomorrow, there will come a day when every criminal will pay the heavy price.